acid radicals that is anions first we identify the acid radical in the given salt and then we confirm it with the corresponding conformation test identification of acid radical we have three tests for identification of acid radicals that is diluted h2so4 test concentrated h2so4 test and test for independent radical some anions react with the diluted h2so4 and the other anions react with the concentrated h2so4 and few doesn't react with neither of them for which we have individual tests so let us identify the acid radicals by performing the above tests in order dilute sulfuric acid test in this test we take small amount of the salt in a clean and dry test tube and add few ml of diluted sulfuric acid so let us see the action of diluted sulfuric acid on the salt concentrated sulfuric acid test some salts which do not react with diluted h2so4 will react with concentrated h2so4 in this test we take small amount of the salt in a clean and dry test tube and add few ml of concentrated sulfuric acid if it still doesn't react then we heat the mixture on a bunsen flame so let us see the action of concentrated sulfuric acid on the salt let us see the action of concentrated sulfuric acid on the given salt take a pinch of the salt in a dry test tube add 1 or 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid to the salt
and if it gives dense white fumes with glass rod dipped in ammonia it indicates the presence of chloride radical here you can see the formation of dense white fumes with glass rod dipped in ammonia this indicates the presence of chloride ion
test for independent radical sulfate if the salt doesn't react with diluted h2so4 and concentrated h2so4 in cold and hot condition then we perform the independent radical test in this test we take small amount of the salt and add few ml of barium chloride solution so let us perform this test <laughs> 